Here, once again, position of study other experiments. Yeah, flagella. Flagella uh, are the nuclear structures of locomotive uh, elements of flagellar protozoans like Euglena, Trypanosoma. A typical flagella consists of, so this is the um, DS of the flagella, this is the DS of the flagella. Flagella arises from the you know, basal granule or kinetosome or blepharoplast. So, and uh, this is the exoning. Exoning and flagella both they are made up of microtubules. Okay, so the basal granule is made up of nine triplet microtubules. There are no central tubules. Whereas exoning, which is surrounded by a protoplasmic membrane in flagella and uh, you know pellicle uh, in cilia, both structures are is similar. So inside the outer sheath are protoplasmic membrane. So the matrix is present and uh, the supporting material of the, uh, you know, a flagellum or a cilium contains an outer paired nine uh, tubules, okay, and an inner unpaired one pair of uh, uh, separate or one pair of uh, center tubules are present. So they, they are surrounded by inner sheath, okay? And here you can see each uh, doublet contains uh, a pair of dynein arms, okay? So which contain an ATPase activity. So they push the next uh, doublet of microtubules so that the cilia or the flagella, it bends with the help of the ATP uh, uh, energy, so that is broken by this uh, dynamic arms ATP is activated. Okay, so that is about the flagellar or cilia structure. And here uh, the peripheral paired doublets are connected to the inner sheet by radial spokes. And then types of flagella, here these are, uh, there are five types of uh, flagella. One is uh, Stichonema. Here, uh, most of the flagellum, they, they contain a, a small hair-like uh, structures. They are called mastigonemes. Right here. Mastigonemes. Mastigonemes, small hair like uh, structures present on flagellum. So they are mastigonemes. So based on mastigonemes, the flagella uh, are you know classified into different types. Here you can see. Stichonematic type of mastogonemes. So only one side uh, of the flagellum, the mastogonemes are present. Example, Euglena astatia. If the mastogonemes are, so both the sides, that is called pantogenetic. You should buy hard the examples. Okay, blindly buy hard the examples. Its meaning and examples. So, so this is not piranema, the paranema and monas. Okay, so that is pantognematic. Panto means both. Okay, so acronematic kind of, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> flagellum. So lateral appendages are the mastigonemes are completely absent and axoneme ends as a terminal naked axial filament. So here, the outer sheath is absent here. Okay, so outer sheath is absent in acronematic and there are no mastigonemes. So this is naked axonemia. Okay, and then uh, example clamdomonas and panta pantacronematic. That means pantonematic and acronematic. 
So uh, here two or more rows of lateral appendages are uh, mastigonemes are present uh, and the axoneum ends in a terminal naked axial filament. Okay, so rendu le anta ke neck for rows lo axoneum mastigonemes should die. But uh, ending of this is naked down simple example arceolus and uh, animatic is the simplest the diagram uh, wrong with shadow is under the naked part of the simplest kind of uh, you know flagella without any uh, mastigonemes or lateral appendages uh, and the terminal part part is not uh, you know uh, um, naked. It's not naked. Okay. So, example, cryptomonas. So, you, you simply understand the uh, meaning and also by heart the example. That is a must. Maybe a question adding an approach. And uh, uh, here in the Euglena, there are two flagella present. One is short and the other one is long uh, flagella. In triplosoma, only one flagellum is there. We have seen in the in trichomonas, four flagella are there. In GRDA, four pairs are eight flagella are there. We have seen the diagram. And in trichonympha, so many, many uh, flagella are present. Okay, so next structure is cilia. Okay, uh, cilia are the, uh, you know, appendages are organized locomotive organs of ciliates. Okay, ciliate protozoans. Okay, they are short hair like organelles. So, cilia are also present in all the vertebrates, particularly in tracheal epithelia. Okay, so on a uh, respiratory tube, so that is uh, its inner epithelium contains cilia uh, and uh, genital ducts, inner epithelium also contains uh, cilia. Brain cavities. Uh, Brain and spinal cord cavities uh, also for their uh, the content ciliary epithelium. Okay, so anyway, uh, the cilia in paramecium present whole body. Okay, what body and the cilia So, whereas what uh, is okay, which is uh, commonly called as well, we all know that. Two, it contains whole body, whereas Vaticella uh, contains only a deep oral region. And there are sectorians uh, like uh, Asinata and Vifilota. Okay, so these animals, uh, in these animals, the cilia are present only in younger stages, earlier stages of their life. Okay, adults possess tentacles, septobes, this is important. So anyway, cilia are also produced from basal granules, just like, uh, you know, uh, uh, what we call the flagellum. Okay, uh, they are the, their structure is similar to flagellum in anatomy. So they are also useful for locomotion, feeding, and also they also act as tactile organs. How they are uh, useful uh, as a tactile organs. So by farming cirri in the undulatory. Membranes are membranes. Okay, so the cilia are a compound structure. Palm jadam, leda puni cilia galsi, very closely associated. Okay, so it looks like a membrane uh, that is called membranelles. These are helpful for the, uh, they, they act as 
tactile organs. That means they help for touch sense. Okay, so these are also exhibit 9 plus 2 uh, structure. Nine plus two structure. These are highly vibratile, small ectoplasmic process. The nine paired peripheral fibers are so similar. Yeah. Same structure. Each CR. Bifroplast uh, it is also arranged for me. The thicker structure uh, called basal granular bifroplast. Anyway, so regarding the uh, cilia, there is a system called infraciliary system. Okay, so during the time uh, to get the diagram, so I'll explain uh, you can understand easily. So, infracilia ciliary system present in ciliates below the pellicle. Pellicle in the cilia neatly connects to the system of the infraciliary system. It consists of so, kinetosomes, kinodesmal fibers, and kinodesmata. Kinetosomes, kinodesmal fibers, and kinodesmata. At the base of cilia, from which uh, that is the kinetosome is nothing but the basal granule or kinetosomes. Okay, so all the kinetosomes below the uh, pellicle. So, if it is pellicle, so these are the kinetosomes. Okay, so they are present in horizontal and longitudinal uh, horizontal and longitudinal rows. Anyway, uh, kinetodesmal uh, fibers are connected to kinetosomes. Okay, kinetosomal uh, fibers are navy, they are connected to kinetosomes okay so to form kinetodesmata and other means the simple or good way you can call that kinetosomal fibers plus kinetosomes equal to kinetodesmata okay so a rod like uh, structures okay i mean horizontal ga pellicle kind of type so like this so kinetodesmata are present like this. So see all these kinetodesmata are all the kinetodesmal fibers uh, and the kinetosomes they are uh, connected to each kinetodesmata. So, all the kinetodesmata, kinetosomes, and kinetodesmal fibers they are combinedly known as uh, for, uh, at a particular place. So, a unit is formed uh, kinetodesmal fibers, kinetosomes, plus kinetodesmata. Okay, so a unit is formed that is called uh, kinetic. Okay, you remember. It is kinetic, kinetodesmal fibers, kinetosomes, and kinetodesmata. All these three constitute a kinetic. So all kinetic, okay, body uh, level, all kinetic, and the help you know, infraciliary system. So this infraciliary system, so that is ultimately connected to motorium, a special structure. Okay, so that is called neuromotor center. Okay, so present at the cytopharynx. Where I mentioned the cytopharynx, the gra. The motor ciliary system and the infraciliary system that is connected to motorium. So that regulates 
the movement of the you know uh, all the cilia okay infraciliary system uh, system plus motorium is called neuromotor system nadi chala kodustaru right so the neuromotor system actually it coordinates the ciliary movements so hymen called cilia and flagella as unduly podia and they show wavy movements and they were unduly podia ni kelavanda so dynein arms here also uh, play an important role in bending of cilia and flagella dynein arms are atp a centers talent in japan so that is a uh, different kinds of uh, uh, that is uh, structure of cilia anyway uh, last type of uh, locomotor organs are myonemes they are also known as pellicular contractile structures in many protozoa are found contractile structures in pellicle or ectoplasm so they are called myonemes so these may be in the form of ridges and uh, grooves here like in ubilina or contractile myofibrils so present in larger ciliates or in the form of microtubules for example triploso so uh, myonin senatement either in the form of uh, ridges or grooves la undachu like in ubilina or contractile myofibrils la undachu in larger uh, ciliates uh, are in the form of microtubules like the uh, cephalosoma okay so they help for the slight movements okay so method of locomotion so here this way come So, this is the diagram of a pseudopodial movement. So, anyway, here. pseudopodial to explain how the pseudopodia are uh, formed okay how the pseudopodial movement uh, is occurred okay so to explain this there are uh, many theories were uh, proposed by different scientists among them sal gel theory so this diagram is sal gel theory of amoeboid locomotion so that was proposed by libby henrita hyman so it is also known as change of viscosity theory okay so among other theories uh, there is another uh, theory called allen's uh, fountain zone theory so fountain zone theory was proposed by allen okay that is also uh, famous but uh, according to modern um, you know Uh, researches so modern theory explains that formation of pseudopodium is due to the actin and myosin proteins which are a, a kind of muscular proteins or muscle proteins uh, in higher organisms so in the cytoplasm of uh, uh, protozoans which show pseudopodial movement they they it was identified that due to okay so yeah. temporary fusion of actin and myosin because they form pseudopodium when they are separated the pseudopodium is disappeared so here this is the lh hyman's uh, salzel theory so this is anterior end or advanced end that means the 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 animal is moving forward and this area so which is folded the posterior area or trailing end 
So that folded area is called uroid. And the anterior end, so at the uh, anterior most region of the uh, amoeba, so in which the pseudopodial movement is very famous. Okay, so contains a thick uh, layer of cytoplasm. So that is called hyaline cap, then hyaline cap. So according to L.H. Hyman, so at the posterior, uh, here the cytoplasm is divided into two types. So the outer thicker A granular plasma gel and the inner thinner, okay, so highly liquid, so highly uh, movement showing uh, area. So that uh, region is plasma sol or sal. Outer thick uh, cytoplasm is called plasma gel. And inner thin uh, cytoplasm is called plasma sal. So due to the conversion of this peripheral, you know, uh, anti at anterior most, uh, outer, you know, uh, exo, exoplasm is converted into, you know, uh, a, a fluid like uh, plasma sal or the liquid like plasma sal is formed at the you know posterior part where the folded uride is present. So here the thick what we call the exoplasm is dissolved okay so to form a thin fluid area that is plasma sal inside is plasma sal outside is plasma gel anyway so due to changing of you know uh, plasma gel into plasma sal and here changing of plasma sal into some kind of plasma gel also. so the, it's a cyclic uh, process and uh, due to formation of uh, this uh, you know this area Okay, so the pseudopodium is found and it moves advance or farther. Okay, so that is about the uh, salgel theory or change of viscosity theory. So then, second type of uh, movement in the protozoa is flagella movement. Okay, flagella movements. So there are uh, three types of flagella uh, movements. So one is undulating or wavy movement or motion. So side lashing motion and spiral variation. Simple spiral variation. Spiral. Variation. So these are three kinds of moments that is shown by the uh, flagellum. Anyway, first one is undulating. Here, the flagellum, so it, it uh, moves like a, you know, so wavy, like waves. Okay. So like this, the uh, flagellum. Uh, moves in undulating or wavy motion. Okay, so here the undulating or wavy motion is of two types. So you can enter the flagell level to the then you can a base nundi. For example, if it is an animal, okay, if it is flagellum okay if the uh, you know movement of the flagellum from base to up okay so uh, that uh, due to uh, wavy movement of the flagellum uh, the animal will move backward it will move forward so when it goes to the so backward uh, movement 
ki example uh, you know right so due to uh, this undulating or wavy motion is also uh, two types so pulling force of uh, wavy motion or undulating motion so here the flagellum moves from base to terminal region so it causes the uh, this pushes this uh, moment uh, pushing force okay so that pushes back Whereas pulling force here the here uh, along to the in this direction if the direction is uh, towards this so this will be the path okay so anyway. Due to pulling force, the animal move forward. Due to pushing force, the animal move backward. Okay. So, second one is side lashing motion. It is typically uh, occurring. Uh, okay. It typically it occurs. Uh, it has two strokes. One is effective stroke. Another one is propulsive. Uh, it is also known as propulsive stroke another one is recovery stroke if effective stroke low the cilia or the you know flagellum okay so in the water the effective stroke means hitting the water so in that moment the you know the flagellum becomes stiff rod like Okay, so that is, and then it hits on the water. Okay, so that is la side lashing uh, movement or motion. So there will be a recovery stroke. So recovery stroke is nothing but, so becoming normal. So general routine. Okay, so that is uh, effective stroke and recovery stroke are part of side lashing motion. And uh, simple conical dilation. So, flagellum moves like a screw. So, according to push sleep. Okay. So, anyway, due to simple conical gyration, the central axis should do. Okay. So, that is uh, simple conical gyration of the flagellum. Flagella. Uh, motion or movement. Right. So that is about the flagellum. And then ciliary movement. So it also shows effective and recovery strokes. So here also needed. So effective stroke is uh, just like a pendulum or over of a boat. Okay. So a cilium bends back and hits on water. So, that causes Okay. Cilium bends back and hits on water. Uh, that causes moving of animal forward. In paramecium, cilia show two kind of coordination movements. So, Effective stroke and recovery stroke, I think. So, synchronous movement. What is synchronous movement? So, here all the cilia are moved in same direction and at same time. That is synchronous movement. Second one is metachronous movement. So, what is metachronous movement? So, the vertical cilia of a ciliary or a ciliate animal like the paramecium. So, uh, they move like a uh, paddy field in response to wind. Dial Bhagavad Gita, paddy field and it will start. 
సో నెమ్మది నెమ్మది ఆ వేవ్ అనేది చివరిలా రీచ్ అవుతుంది సో మెటాక్రోనస్ మూమెంట్ అనేది కూడా సీలియాలో సో వేవి మూమెంట్ అనేది సో అనదర్ టైప్ జస్ట్ నా వీ హీ మెటాబాలిక్ మూమెంట్ ఆర్ మెటాబాలిక్ సో విచ్ మీన్స్ దట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎ టిపికల్ ఆఫ్ సటన్ ఫ్లాజెలెట్స్ లైక్ యూగ్లినా అండ్ మోస్ట్ స్పోరోజోన్స్ అండ్ సటన్ స్టేజ్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ లైఫ్ సైకిల్స్ సచ్ ఆర్గనిజం మెటాబాలిక్ మూమెంట్ షోయింగ్ ఆర్గనిజమ్స్ కెన్ బి సీన్ షో గ్లైడింగ్ ఆర్ రిగింగ్ ఆర్ పెరిస్టాలిటిక్ మూమెంట్ ఓకే సో yeah the contractile myonemes microtubules okay so present in the pellicular walls animals of the pellicle wall lone myonemes microtubules tubules are present so they are present okay so then here animal entered simple ga vaati pellicle lo cytoplasm lo undadu maamu normal you know muscle uh, fibers okay having okay so they contract and uh, re uh, relax okay so that is also known as gregarian movement okay so that is about the uh, reproduction and the locomotion in protozoa so with this we have completed the protozoa okay and a positive only this week